Good night, good afternoon, good morning, uh, depending on where you're watching from. Tonight, it's going to be a fun night. We do have a topic, which is wrinkles and fine lines, but it's a pop-up Saturday night show. So what we're going to do tonight, we are going to spend an hour and have a little fun. You can choose to ask as many questions as you want on skincare. And we can also choose to stray. We could talk about other things, but you know, mostly skincare. So welcome to our live. I am so excited to be here. I like when I am totally relaxed that I'm having a show. I like the fact that it's the weekend and some of you may be getting your facial done. Some of you might be just chilling at home. Some of you, if you have the regular ritual where you make like soup, for the Saturday evening. What is it that you personally make on a Saturday? Do you have like a special meal that you prepare or is Saturday a cleaning day for you? Let me hear from you what um, you do. When I was growing up, we used to have soup. Saturday is soup day. Whether you're gonna make yellow soup, what I call the yellow soup is um, pumpkin in the soup with probably chicken or something like that. Or if you have beef soup, they normally do pumpkin also. And then you have the good old pea soup. That's what we um, have on a Saturday. I don't know if that still remain the same. I have strayed from that for a long time. Now I eat just about anything that I could get my hands on. So if you have that ritual still going where on a Saturday you make a special meal. I know in some country, I think like in Spain, Saturday is the day that they have the best meal of the week. So let me hear from you while the chat comes alive. What is it that you do on a Saturday when it comes on to your meal? Now, why are we talking about food and a skincare show? Everything goes on then and you know, you eat healthy and it actually reflects on the skin. Skin. Fun night tonight. Welcome to Keisha to the channel. We have um, Lioness, we have Margaret, we have Renee Daly, Loretta Hayham, we also have Brooklyn, New York, Hastin, and who else? Patricia Peak just that joining in. Chichi, did you say tapping under your eyes help all? Yes, I did. I do that for myself daily. It will, it will help, but you got to do it every day. So tell me if you're doing it and if you've seen any result. We have um, BB from Guyana, South America. We have Chrissy Classic Food. Hello, I haven't seen you on the chat for a while. Done a Sunday here, and we all have a roast a dinner. Okay, so some people tend to have uh you know a meal on a you know a special meal on a sunday where i am from i'm ailing um i'm from jamaica and we normally have sunday dinner also and i know here in america in the south they do have sunday dinner so regardless of what you do i'm still waiting to see if anyone is going to say that they do a soup on a sunday now wrinkles and fine lines is what we're going to talk about today tips on how to keep your skin free from wrinkles but as i said we could stray because it's a fun night it's a pop-up show and we're not gonna stick to the rules today the uh mopping we ate a fish or seafood boil oh my goodness i used to love that and my niece whenever she come um, to spend time, that's something that she always requests. A seafood boil like lobster, crayfish, and um, you name it. But make sure you put a big old potato in it when you are serving. And we have Deb from the Carolinas. Welcome to the chat. And who else is here? We are just asking, you know, what do you normally do on a Saturday afternoon? Do you normally have a special kind of food that you prepare? Or you just chill, relax, you know, just let me hear what you do. But in the meantime, we're going to talk about wrinkles and fine line. As I said, we're waiting for the chat to come alive. Now, today was a very stressful day for me, okay? It, I have a little thing that I did, you know, I, uh, uh, support to a friend that I had was to do. It was a very, very stressful. And in times like these, you know, we... um. We need to help other people out, especially when they're going through trying times because you never know when your time is going to come around and you need someone to be there for you. So that is what I was doing today. And now I am home relaxing and talking to you. Now, Joanna Atkinson is watching from Victoria, Australia. Welcome to our chat. What time is it in Australia right now? I'm thinking it's Sunday morning. So let me hear. What do you recommend for teen with acne? 
um, tea tree oil. Tea tree oil, and you can actually mix that tea tree oil in any of the regular beauty products. A quick and easy um, solution is if you have a regular um, facial wash, you can have two to three drops of tea tree oil in that, and that is going to help because it has the antibacterial properties. Not a very pleasant fragrance, but it's actually help to clear it up and keep the fingers off the face. Make sure to wash your hands like on the regular especially now you know there's other things going around definitely wash 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 and it's 9 30 a.m sunday morning in as australia just i can't wait to go but anyway with covid and all of that i would have been there last year anyway hopefully hopefully things clear up joy yes i do saturday it's cow food day and friday is fish day okay see so i know people have different day michelle i ate soup any time of the week no no michelle you're coming with this you actually like soup i like soup too i could have soup any time of the week but i was just mentioning about growing up as a matter of fact one of my go-to meal is soup but have you ever uh, anyone watching here eat um romaine I, I am like the Roman queen, okay? But guess what I do? I normally had things to it. I throw that season pack out, toss it as far as I can, and then I had my own special seasoning. And I like to have, uh, add like um, green beans to it and just make it my own with a little bit of a something. And then it just turn out in this amazing soup, okay? All right, so we're not here for food, but yes, we all need to eat so that our skin could look healthy. And we just opened the show with, you know, I want people to get talking. Whenever you talk about food, people tend to talk about food. Now, someone came on the show recently and they actually spoke about chlorophyll and you know if i know anything about chlorophyll i honestly guys forget to bring the two bottles here so i went ahead and i purchased two small bottles of chlorophyll and i'm actually probably going to do a live show trying the chlorophyll for the first time if you don't know what chlorophyll is it's what actually give the plant the green color and people are now extracting that and taking it so that they could have their skin to look younger yes people are doing a lot of things these days to keep themselves looking younger for longer am i gonna go on you know taking chlorophyll drops i don't know but guess what you can get your natural chlorophyll from eating green vegetables go get your spinach go get rich spinach is very much rich in chlorophyll all the dark green vegetables contain chlorophyll and that is where they extract that from so you don't need to worry if you don't have the drops take some spinach leaf chew it up in your mouth and there you get fresh chlorophyll spinach um um callaloos i mean some places callaloo is a dish but you know jamaican know what i'm talking about you also have like broccolini um um arugula and all the wide variety of lettuce leaves and stuff like that you can actually consume that for your chlorophyll now we have um donna bb i'm in uh, brisbane Ast guys when i come over there or under there right <laughs> however you say you make sure you guys you know eat me up so i could come and meet some of you all over there all right so um and um judy thanks so much for your skin um tips very helpful i only need remedy for forehead wrinkles and we post a video this week for forehead wrinkles so definitely go and check it out we use cornstarch and we use like some papaya but we have as a matter of fact the video that i post this morning that is a wrinkle remedy i use all ingredients that are known to reduce wrinkles it comes in the form of a facial scrub but you can a facial mask but you can actually use it as a scrub we have like coffee in it we have green tea we have oatmeal if you don't see you most of you might not see that video it posts late and it's still not yet circulating so go on the channel page and check that out it's all for wrinkle and that is what i actually use Use on my face this morning so definitely if we're looking to get rid of that forehead wrinkles check that out all wrinkle fighting properties and i also had a little bit of a sweet almond oil in it you have no sweet almond oil then just have had whatever oil that you have 
good to try now when i make these remedies i made a wide variety of remedies don't you you don't need to use all the remedies just make sure to use the one that is your skin concern so if you're looking to get rid of wrinkles use those wrinkle remedies that i make if you're looking to clear hyperpigmentation that is what you're using and also if you're looking to just keep your skin younger Follow the skincare routine and each and every week, if you want, you can add a new mask or a new serum or so on or so and so forth. So that is how you do it. The base for getting your skin to look good is to follow a skincare routine. Once you know how to follow a skincare routine, then you, this recipe will come in a very handy because you can use one for a week or two. You can switch it around, just play around with things. But once you watch the channel on a regular, you will have a fair idea of how to make Make your own now Annette a jewels first time on your live welcome to our live show tonight we is just a pop-up show we're taking question but we're gonna have a good time you have a question for me go ahead we don't necessarily gonna stay on topic tonight it's Saturday night and Saturday night anyway I don't want them to you know flag in case we're singing songs that we're not supposed to sing anyone watching like to sing if we have a singer on the live if you like you are a singer and you can really sing let me hear from you because we probably could bring you on we'd like some live entertainment tonight and the live entertainment if you want to be on tonight you can you can be a part of the show just send over at chichibuti at gmail.com and ask for the link I could just click and invite you and you can actually get the link so come on over and have some fun I'm not off I'm just sending the, 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 the link so if my screen is a little um, dark right now do not um, click click off I'm just um, forwarding the link so anyone want to come over and watch the show can also come over and get that link all right so link sent if you want to join tonight to talk about anything you want to share something you want to show me what you're eating <laughs> send the email right now to chichibuti at gmail.com so we can send the link when you get the link click on the link and i'll see you pop up at the bottom of my screen just joining what are we talking about tonight we're talking about getting rid of wrinkles on the forehead and we're just having fun is anyone watching try the cucumber seed oil if you have tried it kick it what do what what do you do a video where incorporate facial steaming all right very good very good question do not click off Austin stay I'm gonna answer that question right now Oh, Margaret is doing it for me. Thank you so much, Margaret. Thank you so much. All right, so anyone try the cucumber seed oil? If you try the cucumber seed oil, let me know. I am now um, telling you guys that you, if you can get your hands on this cucumber seed oil, you should because it is good for wrinkles and fine lines under the eyes. And look at that. I'm just talking about it because I've been using it a lot. Next week, guys, I'm going to get a manicure, okay? I have not gotten a manicure like, you know, a professional one for a long time. Now, if you're an oldies but goodies and you normally watch my channel in the earlier days, you know that I used to, you know, haul up my nails all doll up, something that I like to do. And I've been doing it since I was a teenager. But when the COVID hit, I had to, like, you know, say, ta ta to it bye bye to it but now you know i want to go get my nails done a little bit you know there everyone has something that they like to do for themselves and i like my nails looking good now they look so you know crusty and all of that but it's all good now jill have tried the cucumber seed oil what are your thoughts on the cucumber seed oil jill please comment please comment please comment and Austin, yes love the cucumber seed oil Austin has also tried the cucumber seed oil let me hear your thought because sometimes i come on here and i carry on like oh i love this oil i just want to hear how you feel about the oil because um you know everyone is different some people might be like ah oh, yeah 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 and another people might be like nah 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 so I really want to hear, oh, without a steamer, how is the best way to steam your neck? Okay, that is actually a very, very good question. But let me tell you something. Without a steamer, to steam your neck is pretty simple. What you do when you, um, 
remember the kettle, Margaret, the kettle remedy that um, um, steamer that I was talking about? That could steam your neck. When you're using the pot to steam your neck, if you put the towel over your face, just do like this. If you do like this, once your face is over, it's also going to be eating your neck, okay? It's always going to eat the neck. When the steam is coming up on your face, it's going to eat your neck. The trick is do just, you know, put on one of those things where, you know, you're home. Do it naked, okay? Okay, so, yeah, so... If not, you know, if you have children, people around, put on one of the towel around, leave it right there. You know what I'm talking about. Just leave all the upper body exposed and the steam is going to eat not only your face, but it's also going to eat your neck and it's also going to eat the decollete. Give it a try, I'm Margaret, and come back and let me know, you know, tomorrow because we're having a show tomorrow. Now, here's a question. What's the quickest? quickest way to heal a scab on the skin the quickest way to heal a scab on the skin is to keep it dry i'm not even sure if i should answer the question next thing they say like oh it's a medical question but anyway i'm just gonna answer it and keep it dry and once it is dried it's gonna heal much faster remember the skin actually heal itself and uh, another thing that you can use you cleanse it with a little bit of an antibacterial something like a little bit of a tea tree oil or um if you have the that ointment or whatever but anyway naturally you keep you make sure it is totally clean you swipe it with some alcohol and you let it dry right there don't don't harass it and don't keep picking up the the, the scab it's gonna feel crusty and rusty you leave it there and it's gonna dry okay and heal pretty pretty fast all right, so um, let's move on. Now, um, if you want to promote something on my channel, you definitely need um, to come ask me about it before. And then when you, when you if I give you the go ahead, especially on my live chat, then I will... Um, I will definitely, you know, give you a yes or a no. So Deb Campbell, I tried the premium drain on the eye cream that you mentioned. Let me hear from you, um, Deb. Um, what do you think about it? I tried it also. It is really a good cream, to be honest with you, but I need to hear from you. What do you think about the premium drain? For those of you who don't know, premium drain is one of my sponsor who, um, you know, um, reach out because I use their cream and there's a video showing you sharing about that uh, cream. All right. So on their eye cream, can you do a video where you incorporate facial steaming? I actually did some facial steaming live on this, this channel. I was trying to see if I have my steamer here. Yes, I have my steamer right here. This is my steamer and, uh, you know, sometimes people want to see you steam your face um regular the honest truth is why i don't be doing a lot of bathroom i used to do those before but they get censored so easy that i like try to stay away from doing those you know bathroom stuff and all of that but yeah this is my steamer and we do have a couple of videos mostly live that i share um using the steamer so let me just put mine in now remember guys my face right now is not totally clean so um what if you're just joining what am i doing right now i'm putting some water in my steamer someone want to see me do a, a, a video steaming now my face is not totally clean and i'm sweating anyway so i'll do a little thing let's see if i can plug this in really really quick now if you're gonna steam if you're just joining, remember, I told you guys I'm going to be all over the place tonight. I just want to chit chat and have fun with you all. So someone want to know about the steaming. Now, when you're going to steam your face, that's the first thing you do. If you wear makeup like me, you got to get rid of the makeup from the face before you steam. All right. Because you want those pores to be open. I am not going to be doing that tonight. As a matter of fact, I'm not heavily made up, okay? Some people sometimes think I'm heavily made up, but I'm not. See, I just wipe it off right there. All right, so when I steam my face, I make sure to get rid of all the makeup, and then I get the steamer. This one is um, off. Ooh, I'm leaning this thing. So I put that steamer 
on on yes it's on and the water is gonna boil so what i do i get the makeup off wipe off my eyes and all of that good stuff and when i'm done with that now it's time to steam the face now remember i was telling you margaret that okay but you want to know if you don't have a um a thing there what they call it again if you don't have the steamer to do the neck so this is not gonna be a good demonstration anyway so once my face is totally clean then that's the time I'm gonna steam put the steamer on and if you're not using a regular steamer you're gonna do the same thing you make sure that your face is clean now my steamer is totally ready right now you could see it just coming out now take a look at what I'm gonna do when I'm steaming my face I don't put and this goes for all uh, if you're using like your pot to steam or that kettle you know little tip that I share with you you're gonna put that steamer away from your face now I have a little thing fun going on in the corner so it's blowing the steam because um, I'm trying to use things that do not affect the sound so there's the steam I don't know if you guys could see the steam on camera but it is going so my steaming I put it around about here and I roll my face see how far I am from the steamer the steamer let's let's see which side to go okay there is my steamer right there and hopefully you can see the steam coming out and this is how far I am from it Ooh, and I just do a little circle circle now ooh, if you're using a steamer like this what is gonna happen it's gonna the water is gonna finish so you can't overdo it but if you're doing it um with the stove top and all of that don't do it for more than three minutes and don't go <laughs> no step back where it's comfortable you don't need that steam like no more here is not more okay so keep the steam a little away from you what a day to ask about steam in the face i'm already hot so guess what guys if you are joining and you see my clothes start getting wet <laughs> it means that i am under a whole set of light here and someone is asking about steam and because it's saturday night i'm in the mood so i put the steamer on so now i'm gonna be sweating up a storm but yeah this is the way you steam and if you're going on the neck and decollete is gonna get there you can move it around or you can just you know let it stay one place and let it hit your face once you steam your face then you're gonna exfoliate and after you exfoliate you can also choose to steam a second time but I suggest that you steam first and then you exfoliate now what I'm gonna try to do one day hopefully I remember is to make a video sharing like three ways to steam the face cuz I kind of feel like that is what oh my back right now guys the water is running down my back I'm so hot right now and um, you know sometimes when you use that word you get in trouble but hopefully I don't get in trouble right now but but yeah I'm steaming <laughs> so Oh, oh, yeah, so that's how I steam. But I understand I might make, oh, it feels good already, yes. But my face is clean, okay, um, in terms of I exfoliate and all of that. But the correct way to steam, you steam and then you exfoliate and then you can exfoliate again or you can just go ahead and rinse your, you know, rinse your face. Now, um my my daughter has a lot of acne on her face and her back what can we use on it now there's different type of acne okay so you know regular acne where there's pimples without the bacteria when acne gets really really bad is when you start to see those pus and all of that in it the steaming also helps someone was like no 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 you can't steam your face when you have acne that is the time you should steam your face especially if you know how to do it you do it the way i show where you don't just let it you know you step back and be comfortable because what it's going to do is open those pores and it's also going to soften soften the grease and dirt in the pores that is causing you to get acne when you get acne on your skin is because the pores are clogged and it get infected with bacteria some people tend to pick their face a lot you're touching your face without even realizing that you're doing it and that is why cause the germs so you need to use an antibacterial um, um, 
remedy an antibacterial ingredient. Now steaming, remember last year? <laughs> oh, we can clearly say last year now because last year is behind us. Remember last year we were steaming everything, like everything. I go to the grocery store, I come home, I'm sometimes laughing at myself. I have a box of juice, I'm still putting the steam on the juice. I'm just steaming everything. I try to be like, okay, a soda I bring home, I probably need to steam the soda too, like, you know, everything like like that and that is because it's killed germs the steam kill germs okay minor also germs that's what the steaming kills and that is why everyone was like steaming everything to keep you know themselves you know healthy and not get covid okay so when you have acne on the skin and it started to you know it be a bother and the little pus and all of that that is the germ so when you steam the, the face is actually gonna have to kill the germs but it also have to open those pores and that way you could use a mild exfoliator and exfoliate a little blended rice is good it's good for most skin type because it don't irritate the skin you exfoliate in circular motion you steam your pot dry and you use your acne remedy and that should really change your skin for the part definitely a scrub definitely a body scrub you can use salt you can use rice you can use sugar and just put a little oil in it yes a little oil and exfoliate the skin that is how you get rid of acne we have a more mature crowd here so normally when I make acne videos like you know my regular subscribers like that's not for me so that's why I don't really make much of an acne um remedies anymore but that is how I have a lot of young people in my family and that is you know basically what I share with them what's good to make bra strap mark on your shoulder go away oh I love this question it is Saturday night oh yes we're gonna talk about bra if you're a guy and you're watching stay put because you can actually have someone help with this now bra strap marking if you are watching and you know what causes the bra strap to mark your skin comment 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 right now i want to hear from all of you first of all have you ever had that where the bra leave a mark on your skin and if you know what is the cause why that happened comment let me see the chat comes alive now it's saturday night guys don't just watch and not comment let us all start commenting comment comment because we all wear some form of bra a couple of months ago i was actually sharing you know telling my subscribers about my bra and why i talk about the bra we all wear bra and i had gained a bit of a weight and it's okay i could even say my bra size i have gained a bit of a weight for all this time i know myself i am like a 36 c and when i gained weight i normally still remained a 36 c but i gained a little extra weight more than i normally gain and i was like okay i think that I need to change my bra. I need to go up a size to accommodate the weight. However, I went and I get 38D. And I actually picked up about six 38D. And guess what, guys? They are actually big, okay? They're actually big. I've already purchased them. What am I gonna do? I am not gonna return them. If you're here for skincare, guys, continue watching we're getting back to skincare we're going to talk about wrinkles on the face and all of that good stuff but it's satya you know what i don't understand sometimes guys sometimes i don't understand like yeah it's a skincare show and we're you know majority female watches my show okay and we would come on now and someone would ask a question like this and i start talking about it and people would start clicking off like come on we all wear some form of a bra what is wrong with us you know talking about these things it's all not all about the face okay yes you want your face to look good but guess what when you put a bra on and let me see if i could get the question of when you put a bra on and the bra is not fitting right you don't look right either and we all know that and that is why you know i was telling people i was like on the show and every second i was doing this every second i was doing this so then i have no choice but to say guys and i'm wearing one of those right now it's big okay it's big now what causes bra straps some people like to wear it pretty pretty loose and that is for a reason let me hear some comment don't click off guys it's all in the game of looking good your face look right your bra here you need to look right also now margaret the rubbing of the strap on the skin tight and sometimes the color of the bra leave the mark the rubbing of the strap on the skin 
tight and sometimes the color of the bra leave a mark now um desiree um where is this um leave the mark because you wear it too long without <laughs> washing it no that is not true that is not true because some this is another story this is like for my weekdays with chicha beauty where we're gonna dive into this right now about wearing it for so long without washing it now they have to each his own some people wear a bra and the very when they wear it they take it off they wash it they don't wear it twice i used to be that type of a person nowadays i might wear a bra twice and i'm being honest because i used to be the type that if i get up this morning and i put a bra on and i go down the road and i come back and i take a shower i change that bra i would change that bra during covid and um, if i go on the street any at all i get back in the house and putting on that bra now I, I if i'm home and i'm taking a shower and i don't go outside and i take a second shower sometimes you know when i'm home like a day like today hot i'll take all two three showers don't ask me why i do that that is just me i'm not saying to go take two three showers per day i do that because i is i it's, it's just an habit if i like now i feel this warm and as soon as the show is done i'm gonna go rinse myself in some cold water that is just me okay but a shower or two per day is recommended okay so what i'm just saying before if i take a shower this morning and i stay home and i feel hot i go shower i would change the bra now i would put the same bra on to one bra per day and yes i am a bra person but to each his own but some bras even when you read the tag is going to tell you that you're going to unwash the bra and uh, you know some people don't just take wear the bra put it up and especially the more expensive the bra is is the less washing they claim that is required so this is not like a far-fetched thing where she's saying we're in the bra too long without washing the bra i sweat a lot okay like now like somebody had me steaming a while ago so when i sweat it's not only my body that is sweated my bra is also getting wet so i change my bra on a regular like i wear a bra per day and i change it and wear another bra the next day if i'm changed if i get really hot in the day like now sweating i'm not gonna put back the bra on that is just me but as i said the more expensive a bra is they recommend that you wash it less so don't come at desiree for saying making this a comment all right so we're if you're just joining we're here for skincare but we're ladies mostly on this channel and we're just talking a little bit about bra someone asked a question about the bra leaving the mark on the body the main culprit for that is tightness the main culprit is the bra is too tight and guess what sometimes this happen when a person is very much here like ex really really heavy because some people have really heavy ones and in order for the bra to fit nice they tend to draw the strap so it don't Da, 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 da. You, you understand what I'm saying? So one of the main culprit is drawing it too tight. If you go every, if anyone on the chat has ever gone to get a bra fix, um, fitting, when they do fits, sometimes, especially if you like it nice and tight, you're gonna be like, oh no, 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 this is too loose, this is too loose. But they're gonna tell you that this is the way it's supposed to be. Who is responsible for me sweating like? this right now who the, the person that asks about the steaming i'm gonna come and get you because i am sweating up a storm all right so that is the main reason so you make sure you use the adjuster and adjust it and that is gonna help to keep it but here is a trick and this is a trick if you are having issue with the marking believe it or not you can take some olive oil or some coconut oil you can actually rub it on that area and it's gonna mess your clothes up if you go too heavy on it and then you put your bra on and it will just slide away slide slide it won't leave that mark as much as you know but definitely tight bra is the main culprit and fine straps I find thin strap cut in thicker strap more comfortable yes fine strap is also the culprit and you know the next culprit is back fat if you are the type of person that have a lot of fat on the back it's gonna mark because once it press on the back and that that 
you know back fat it also is gonna leave a, a dent in there now how do you get rid of that loosen it and use the oil method that i just suggest let me hear this comment i learned how to wear a bra from oprah show hello hell it was a um hg all the time because it was uh, itching maybe all the time because it was fitting never never ever too tight maybe we should have a show like that okay but don't expect um i don't normally talk about these you know i used to make a lot of videos before you know around this kind of an area but i kind of stopped because of the system but i don't think there should be any issue like you know talking about exactly how to wear a bra properly for you not to get all that marking and i as i said i know some people is very heavy here and they tend to draw that bra strap and sometimes it cut and also guys when you go to get your bra I mean, not everyone have the privilege um, to be able to take that strap and tug and pull the strap because some rubber, plastic, whatever it is that they make for the strap, sometimes the material, that is what irritates the skin also. Cotton is always best, but it's not how you don't have any form of a stretch into it so you have to be uh, precise when you buy a cotton bra with a cotton strap and that is why most of the time they put the elastic so that it could stretch okay so be mindful when you go you test it you run your arm along the the rim of the strap to make sure it feels comfortable if you're just joining welcome to our live we're talking about bra right now but the honest truth this is a skincare channel and we're here tonight to talk about wrinkles and fine lines but it's okay to stray i did warn you guys at the beginning of the video that i am gonna stray tonight it's saturday night and i have want to have fun with my subscribers turn back on um, the fat oh okay thank you i totally forget that i um turn it up i have a little mini ac here that i actually purchased for the show also <laughs> this is just like not a commercial this is my whole little thing that i bought for my live show but i find let me hear from you right now guys i'm gonna put it down right here tell me if this hum is heavy let me hear from you guys do you hear a humming on the chat right now if you hear a humming like an annoying humming comment 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 and let me know it's very very difficult when you don't have a real i you know i in studio and you're doing the live show you have to be really mindful of the the things you use like if i have a regular ac inside here running if i don't have central eating i use ac unit then the noise would be really really too much so that is why i'm very, very mindful because people most people watches this video after and when they come on after to watch then the um is really not good all right so we are moving on i see people clicking off since we're talking about bra so let's go back to talking about the skin all right so i hear nothing i can't hear it i can't hear. okay thank you so much for that all right let's talk back about skincare so people could stay on and um it is taryn it i let loose if i'm home no bra all right okay okay um you know why i'm not taking that up because then i probably would say a lot of things but it's all good all right it's all good freedom is what i like myself all right so let's move on wrinkles on the forehead we have sharing some tips tonight how to get rid of wrinkles on the face on the neck and even maybe on your hands now how do you control you know wrinkles most you see i'm all over the place now i'm trying to just zoom out of talking about the bra uh, auntie kb it has a little noise so auntie saying that it do, maybe i could change the position auntie oh string is not strong enough long enough and then maybe i could change the position of my microphone okay now this should be better all right so we are moving on and you know as i said it's saturday night and we can talk and have as much fun as we want now what is your concern guys since i'm all over the place today what are you here for what do you want to know ask me a question ask me any question you want about skincare not my personal life i know i have not been drinking today i'm just in a good mood and um 
I want to enjoy my Saturday evening talking to you all. So what question do you have for me? And while you're thinking about what you want to hear, let's talk a little bit about under eye wrinkles. Under eye wrinkles. Someone was requesting me to talk more about under eye wrinkles. And uh, I suggest that you clean your under eyes. For my oldest guys, bear on with me. Let me answer this. Clean your under eyes every day. Make sure to use your little wash rug and you take off all your makeup. And if you don't wear makeup, you make sure to still wash your under eyes. Apply a good oil. And one is on the channel. When I post it this week, this, I have it right here. Dab it on there. I think this oil also contain a little dab of castor oil. Believe it or not, works like a charm. And then you dab it under, and this is going to help to get rid of the under eye wrinkles. There are a lot of amazing um, under eye patches and stuff like that that they have out there. If you have the funds for it, you can play around with that. If not, just use some of my own remedies. Most of them are really, really good. I mean, everyone is different. Their skin is different. And, you know, things react and work better or not so good on some skin. But it is all good to try. Dark Angel, tools I can use um, about face massage. And I can't find anything in video except um, Gosha. And I don't like that one one dark angel i know you start watching late and that is why we actually did a show in our 25 day skincare challenge where i share about without even exaggerating i think i shared about seven to eight different beauty tools that you can use to massage your face actually one of my favorite let me see if i have any of my beauty tools nearby probably not i normally have some things on the in case you know while i'm doing the show someone might ask like for something but sometimes i forget to bring them in but we have like um the derma roller is good we also have a, there's a wide variety of things that you can actually roll i'm trying to see if i have one here and none in view none in view i always know that i should bring something on because you guys always ask about this but yeah you have the go shot i'm not sure what day that show was but go and browse around my 25 day skincare challenge um read all the thumbnail because one of them is gonna say beauty tool, beauty tool or maybe it's the weekdays weekdays uh, seven beauty tools i think that is worth your money i think that is the name of the 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 video that i did and you're gonna see me just share a wide variety i think i said seven on the thumbnail but i share about 10 of those that you can use to massage your face i not only share the tool but i also show you how to use those tools so check it out and the 25 day skincare challenge um, is list below. If not, check out weekdays with Chichi Beauty for the title. Now, um, Oliver Jim, above the eyes, a little droopy. Now, the same thing that you do for your under eyes is the same thing you're gonna do for above the eyes. Now, when it comes on to above your eyes, I know a lot of people not gonna want to do the pitta pattern, but it actually works also for above the eyes, especially for shrunken eyelid, okay? For shrunken eye, the massaging technique work. Now, when you get to the brow bone up here, always, always massage. So you can do the entire thing. I'm going to make a new video for you guys to show you a five minutes video, five minutes to getting rid of wrinkles, shrunken eye and on the eyes, you know, bags and stuff like that. That is the same way that you take. And when you use your, your beauty, your on the eye cream, don't just put it under here, put it on the eyelid also and right here at the side of your face. Always, always extend it. Okay. All right. Very good question. Um, um let's see who else is here if you have a question for me um go ahead and ask um aminia is gold powder good for on the eye wrinkles i mean i actually have the gold powder here i might have used it once on the channel it's big out there you find a lot of, and someone also actually at, at, at gifted me a whole set of those gold um gold um you know eye patches and all of that i am not gonna come on here and tell you that oh my goodness girl it works like a charm because to be honest I think I use it once. 
<laughs> I, I'm not good with like, yeah, I think I used it once and I didn't because I saw into my own remedies that I didn't give it a chance. And the powder, I actually bought a pack of that gold powder for myself. I really want to try it and I never get around to trying it. So if you want to go ahead and try it, you know, go ahead and try it. Or maybe I should tr make a video showing myself trying it and give it a week and see, you know, what I think about it. But I heard about it. I have it here. I make one video using a little bit of it about probably two years or so ago, but I never ever get into because I like green things. And if I'm going to go buy like something for my under eyes, the possibility mean that it's going to be something green, like, you know, spinach leaves something you can catch me with those things like they have this company that make a, a cucumber spinach um facial toner you i would quick to try something like that but so to answer your question i'm not sure but it's out there and maybe one day i'll try it and let you know what i think about it welcome to our live chat if you're just joining we're just here chit chatting really to be honest i really want to just chit chat but i have to have a topic so ask a question about wrinkles and fine lines on the skin and we will answer it now um auntie yes kb the noise is very less now okay thank you guys my microphone is on this side all right guys so let's talk about laugh lines a lot of people send emails about the laugh lines and last night we shared was it last night did i have a show last night or it was in the day in the day okay but yes yesterday we share you know some tips and how to get rid of the laugh lines what we did was to massage just before i came on tonight someone was asking about the video that i said i was going to show and i didn't load it so i cannot show it unless i load it up in the program so i'm going to bring it to you hopefully i remember tomorrow and i might bring a few videos to show some technique and how to massage the face to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines on the skin now let's take another question love watching you thanks for your own remedy tips um i have to go to church now have a wonderful rest of your day and a weekend and joanna is actually um sunday where joanna is believe it or not so you know be good and i was gonna say something not sure if i can say it on the channel in terms of you know when you go to church what you what you do or something like that but yes you know have a good time at church and be blessed okay all right thanks for joining now margaret um our old body is skin and we all have challenges with wrinkle etc speaking about different mark etc is naturally especially if someone is experienced um a, um a problem you you receive honest answer here and yes and that is but the system sometimes margaret i really like me i really want to like talk to you guys sometimes like just so you see i venture out a little bit in just talking a little bit about the bra i don't know if i would get in trouble for that but sometimes these are what i would like to share i would like to be everything about the face and the entire body certain things what to do what not to do but the system don't allow us to stretch because we're dealing with a wide variety of culture and cultural differences sometimes clashes like i used to do a show before um a couple of years ago um um what was the name of the show again um but anyway it was a show where i asked like, my subscribers to send in questions and not question alone like if you have a problem and share and i used to you know take those and pick the best ones out but the best ones sometimes weren't like all clear cut and believe it or not a lot of people was having issue you know and as i said culture come into play right here where i am from somewhere we where we are open we could speak our mind and we could say things but you know you have different cultures where speaking out or addressing certain situation should not be done you know on here that kind of a thing so we you know we tend to be mindful but yes i really would like i have my new channel the alex maxi channel and i actually create that channel to talk about these kind of things on it you know women issues and stuff like that but i kind of was like you know let it go because of the issue with the system not accepting some of these kind of a topic but now recently they kind of lift the ban a little bit so i once in a while take a chance in 
you know, talking about certain things because I try to make sure that I stay in the guideline. But definitely come September, I am going to be doing a few of these videos on the Alex Maxi channel. If you want to be to subscribe to my Alex Maxi, the link is in the description box below. I think we have probably about 200 and something subscribers so far. So if you click on the link, Alex Maxi, September coming is going to be very active and we're going to try to do some things, you know, other things that is not necessarily about facial, but about, you know, you know, cooking and, you know, eating clean, gut cleansing and women issues, fibroid and all these kind of things we're going to try to put over there. Okay. All right. So, um, Taryn, I love to speak out life in short. People need to smile and laugh sometime. Love it. Thank you so much for that. Hi, I want to ask you, I wash my ear without shampoo. Please answer me. So you're saying you wash your hair without shampoo. Now, let me give a good, um, depending on where you live, and this is something that really, really works. You can actually wash your hair without shampoo. They have this thing, and some people call it cactus. I was just going to say some people call it ratchet, some people call it, but it's really cactus. You can actually use cactus to wash your hair and it actually washes your hair good, depending on where you live, if you have cactus. Now, if you do not have cactus, you can also use aloe vera gel to wash your hair, but you do not scrape the gel off. You just have to take that leaf, cut it in two, and you use it and rub it in your hair like this, rub it to scalp and everything, sod it, it's going to look so, get so looking to and then you wash it out is actually cleanse your hair without using regular shampoo in your hair and they have some other um, ingredient um, fenugreek fenugreek uh, fenugreek depends on some people pronounce it fenugreek some people pronounce it fenugreek now if you're gonna do it in syllables it's gonna be fenugreek so that also you can actually boil that and you can take that water and you can wash your hair it have to strengthen your hair also and you that is a uh, no soap that is what I know if anyone else watching and have any uh, any other things that you can use to wash your hair without shampoo go ahead and comment right now okay all right so so um um let's see who else is here if you just joining we're talking about getting rid of wrinkles on seven tips to get rid of wrinkles on the skin however we are just chit chatting and answering some question now ma tell me how to get fresh skin i'm 36 i want to look fresh and glowing every day now i'm going to tell ask you to watch my 25 day skincare challenge because a lot goes into getting your skin to look fresh daily it's it's a lot that goes into it but it's simple once you know what to do so wash your face twice per day use a scrub on your face three times for the week do a facial mask twice for the week and then massage your face every day and that is gonna get you fresh skin i say that off the top like that and for you you need more details so watch the 25 day skincare challenge where i go step by step share how you get your what kind of a skin type you have and a to z and you're on your way to fresh looking skin now just use conditioner instead of shampoo that's teresa is telling you that you can use shampoo conditioner instead of shampoo now here is a comment all right this is what i like aminia the hibiscus leaf and flower can also be used as a natural shampoo rinse the leaf and flower and then rub them in fresh water to extract the mucus and use as a shampoo and this is what i like this is why i love my subscribers so here you go hibiscus and for those of you who do not know what hibiscus is it is actually a flowers now if you like i don't know if it's all the caribbean that call hibiscus um well we call some depending on where you live you might say shoe black we we have that conversation on this channel before in jamaica we call hibiscus shoe black don't ask me why i don't know where what they call it in other country um but i discuss i'm trying to find a image to show you all what the, i discuss and they have a wide variety of specimen okay wide variety and take a look at this this is what the i discuss look like some of you might that's the flower and you could see the wide variety of color most i discuss is the more common one is red like this one here those nice pretty colors some of them are graft 
because you know people plant them and people change the color put it in a plant a seed in a color paper and get more but there's a wide variety and for me i grew up with the red one mostly around and we used to just put it in our hair like you know we live in hawaii we just put a little flowers in our hair and all of that but lo and behold there was a time in my life when i was like a big time diet to be honest i used to diet and make sure i eat and drink everything that's gonna help me to look thin and slim and i did not know that hibiscus was edible i actually discovered that a little bit over 20 years now i discovered that hibiscus was edible i didn't know at all and i'm now i'm like oh my goodness i could have gone outside and just picked that and boil that but hibiscus is also good for weight loss okay and you can go and research it when you're done and i discovered that all the way in france i went into the store and when i look up they have this lady really thin on a box like tea i was like what isn't that shoe black? Yes, I'm Jamaican guy, so I'm not gonna be like, oh, that's hibiscus. I'm gonna be like, whoa, that's shoe black up there. Anyway, I look and I notice that it's for weight loss. So you wanna see me grabbing the boxes? What? And I actually brought them home. I think I bought about six, um, um, you know, package of tea bags, and I came and I was drinking hibiscus, and it worked. It's really work. It's helped to flush the system out and it also helped to control appetite. Nowadays, you know, certain places you go, you might find a hibiscus petal on your plate with some fish on it or something like that. So yes, it's definitely edible and, um, you can actually now and learn that you can use it to wash your hair. Now, um, um, unbreakable. In Haiti, we call it shoe black in Creole, but in French, we all call it hibiscus. Okay. Now, you see, I love this show. I learned so much from you guys. So it's not only in Jamaica, they call it shoe black. There are other places that they call it shoe black. If you're watching, you know what the hibiscus plant is, and you have another name for it, comment right now so we can all learn something new. So now we know Jamaica and in Haiti call it shoe black and definitely in france hibiscus if you live somewhere else you know what we're talking about you have another name for it comment 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 now it is now treated just like the rose petal so you're gonna find that you could go into they have these kind of special bakery especially here in new york and you could go in and you could get like a cake with hibiscus petal in it you can actually get rose petal you could get lavender cake and all of that so hibiscus now is right up there with roses and and um and lavender all right so good for weight loss i proved that for myself and now i know it's good for shampoo amina um a drink is also made from the flowers in saint martin called sorrel i'm sorry but other island other island call it by the same name now listen amina you're walking on you tread lightly right now with the sorry okay straight around. okay now this is guys if you're just joining it's saturday night okay we talk about skincare all week now we're trying to learn something we're talking about hibiscus right now which believe it or not it also helps with the wrinkles on the skin and we're going to talk about that another time but it's also i was just telling you people how i came across hibiscus and i actually um drink it for weight loss now someone was suggesting that it's good for natural shampoo and now amina is coming to tell me that they use the hibiscus to make a drink that they call sorrel and i'm just watching my jamaican subscriber right now be like what girl what are you talking about and i'm looking to see if they're gonna comment but they're keeping quiet right now and okay i know that not jamaican alone margaret is in barbados and margaret is just coming right now let me see who else is gonna get on this sorrel ban wagon because uh, that's why i take my computer up okay i i don't i don't know so i'm gonna see because remember you know we use in jamaica sorrel is a total different plant that they use for making drink however guys if you look at the the flowers of the sorrel it do look like hibiscus and that is why i am googling it right now because she might not be wrong okay she might not be wrong because in some places let me see if i find the image and i'm gonna see if the sorrel okay so if you google sorrel 
this is what you're going to find. Come on, thing, open up because this is really a topic that. Okay, so guys, take a look. For those of you who have no clue what we're talking about, this is what, when you Google Saril, this is what you're going to see. So this is really Saril. Now, Saril is this plant right here. And I don't know if other countries use it, but I know in Jamaica, we use this to make a drink, especially during the holidays in the December, the Christmas season. We use this to make a drink and it's very, very popular. And uh, now Amina is saying that a drink is also made from the flowers in St. Martin called Saril. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm, that's why I'm not doubting you. It could be the hibiscus that they use because when we get our Saril, we take that petal thing off. We put it sometime, you do it fresh or you put it to dry, but you might be on to something. So I'm going to look for it to see. I like to learn things, you know, and I think that she's not really wrong in what she's saying and i like to prove things sorry so all right saint martin sorry let me get the image all right so um um Aminia. i google saint martin sorry and they're showing me the same sorry from the ones we use so are you mixing up sorrel with hibiscus? Let me hear, let me hear. So let me put in St. Martin sorrel drink. Bear with me, guys. We're onto something here. St. Ibiscus drink. All right, let's see what's going to come up. Sorrel. Sorrel. So. Am I to understand that this is what comes up when I Google St. Martin hibiscus drink? They show me Saril. So guess what, guys? I think in St. Martin, tell me if I'm wrong, Aminia, hibiscus is called, no, Saril is called hibiscus. Tell me if I'm wrong, um, Aminia. Oops, that's the Saril. One region, different names. Okay, so you see, I have to crack the code, guys. I have to crack the code. So in St. Martin, Saril that we use in Jamaica that we call Saril is called hibiscus. Let me know if I'm correct. I was not going to come up until I figured this thing out. So this is St. Martin hibiscus which is sorry okay and that is why i love i love this show i love the fact that we can interact with each other from all over the world we use the very same thing guys but most of the time it comes under a different name all right so let me hear from you guys if you're just joining we are learning today and i just learned something so amina comment right now and let me know if i am right no so i i wasn't gonna be like no i mean no you're not because i am experienced when it comes on to these things now maya um uh, maybe they are from the same family yes and guess what i'm gonna do i'm probably i talk about it another time i'm gonna check out the species and you know normally you know you go deeper and i think they are from the same family oh my goodness i'm loving this i learned something new and i learned something new too if you're just joining us we are talking about getting rid of wrinkles how did we get all the way to sorrel because we're talking about hibiscus and hibiscus i was you know talking about flushing the system out and using it as a shampoo to get rid of grease and dirt from your hair so we learned something here tonight so if the show is over and you know you don't get the wrinkle advice you came for you now know something and it's always always good so Amina, thank you for that information. Let me see Nigeria. Nigeria, we also have it as a drink called Zobo drink. Guys, today's a learning um, process. So in Nigeria, they use a saril. Is it the saril or the hibiscus? Let me know, um, um, Quinetta. Is it the saril or the hibiscus that they call the Zobo drink? And if you're watching from somewhere else across the world and you call hibiscus something other than hibiscus, comment 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 now entertainment um 
last three months my ear goes rough and ear fall increase what do i do massage the scalp massage the scalp and use some castor oil castor oil is really good it's not a gimmick and if you have aloe vera gel you can use it fresh aloe is better you cut that aloe in two just like i was saying and the cactus also work for natural remedy for regrowing bald spot and then you mix up some some castor oil and you can put a little coconut oil in there and massage it on the scalp massaging work especially because it boosts the circulation in your hair not only on your face and it helps to 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 enhance the hair follicles for faster ear growth okay all right so let me see who is um here we're taking questions sorry and i discussed okay we i scrolled back and i want to see yes is the i discussed that we call zobo so now guys you can go to nigeria especially you jamaicans and ask for a drink a zobo drink and you're gonna get the good old sorry so saint martin calling sorry i viscous and in nigeria sorry make a drinks called zobo and today is a good day on this channel down my road point welcome to the live chat quinetta yes is i viscous all right so if you're just joining what are we here talking about today we talk about wrinkles on the skin seven tips but we also went off and we talk a little bit about you know different things that happen in different countries and where how we got here we we're talking about how you can use a natural shampoo that you don't have to buy a home remedy for get you know getting what you're here washed without using shampoo and what we came up is with hibiscus and we also mentioned cactus and aloe vera gel. All right, guys, I see my time going. I'm gonna spend a couple more minutes with you all. If you have any question, comment, comment, comment. And cactus and okra, oh, here's another remedy for here. Cactus and okra blend together, strain and use as a liquid in your hair, and that is natural. Now, here is another remedy. Stinging nestle for hair blend, um, strain and use in hair, stay longer to gray. And um, so I like these remedies that um, we're sharing. And someone wants to know, Ma, where are you? Which country? I am um, right now in Brooklyn, New York, and that's US, but I am Jamaican, okay? Um, by birth definitely um let's see who else is here uh, for massage what to use your hands when you're trying to massage your face use your hands and we're gonna bring we have some massaging videos on the channel so you can actually go and check those out or come back tomorrow and watch our 4 30 p.m eastern standard time show and i am going to try to bring the massage video so you all we all could watch it together now we have screaming mimi um palm oil yes i forget about palm oil palm oil is good for skin and hair synthesis are in vitamin e and vitamin a so palm oil and i notice nowadays they have a lot of hair oil which is rich in palm oil carrot oil make good hair um ear oil also very very good um combination carrot oil and you can actually mix that carrot oil with some shea um shea butter and you get a good ear oil Put a little bit of a castor oil in that and that kick it up a notch that's also good for bald spots and thinning here and also for dandruff um on the scalp all right guys so my time is up if you're just joining we were here for wrinkles on the face we're gonna be here tomorrow at 4 30 p.m eastern standard time that's our sunday show sunday chit chat with chitty beauty it's a little bit more serious than you know my little pop-up show tonight i stay on topic on the sunday show so come back um so i mean you're there cracking up i just saw the comment no man maybe there are okay so we were talking about that earlier Marta tamimi welcome to our live show let's see who else is here that i didn't give a shout out and uh, we have um samari i think i answered Terren. um Kenizi, um, Christine, um, Christine is, um, Christine, how are you doing? And then we have, um, Steaming Mary, um, Mimi. All right. So most people that is commenting now, we did give our Oliver James, always enjoying your program. Thank you for that. And, um, let's see who I miss Michelle Carrington, uh, because of every, you know, thing here. That's what we were talking about. Um, 
the bra strap, the bar, bra strap. Tonight was a good night. If you enjoyed the show tonight, guys, comment right now and give the video a thumbs up. Let me hear from you. We still have a few people watching. We have about 73 people still watching. Just, you know, support our channel by commenting right now. Did you enjoy the show? Did you like the little, you know, we know we stray and I know most people are here for skincare. Just let me know if you enjoyed the show tonight so we can know if we could probably have a Saturday night show and chit chat not necessarily skincare but learn little things like we did today so if you did comment right now don't just watch and not comment 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 and also don't forget to give the video a thumbs up that's how you support the channel and that's how you show some love to the channel so if you hi Resivere. i haven't seen you on the show earlier but you're here so if you're watching and you didn't comment right during the, the show this is the time but if you have what you're watching right now and you always watch and you never comment let me see you comment right now if you watch and a lot of you watch and don't comment if you have watched all the time you don't comment 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 right now support our channel by commenting kareen ra k-a-r-c-a-r-e-r-a I, I see I'm late. Yes, you're late, but guess what? We have in a show tomorrow at 4 30 in the afternoon, 4 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can come back and watch another live show. Or you can rewind the show and just you know watch it over. All right, so um I see people saying bye-bye already. All right, so my time is up. Be good to yourself. And I'm gonna do some more research on this. I discuss, I think. Jill is onto something that it might be from the same family. I'm almost sure it is, but I'm going to do some more research on it and we will talk tomorrow. Go and watch the video I post. It's a little late. As I said, I was, you know, earlier I was saying that I had some support to support some friends of mine this morning. So the video was posted late. It's actually a good video. It's an anti wrinkle facial mask that we use like green tea in it we use like coffee it's a good blend that you can use to exfoliate your face and then you leave it on the skin to dry and then you rinse it off amazing so support us by watching our daily videos and you know leave a comment give it a thumbs up and let the commercial play out so that you know we could get um some funds to maintain all these fancy lighting that we have here be good to yourself have a good night a good morning for those of you who are going to church you know go to church and you know enjoy your time love you all and i'll see you tomorrow bye-bye